Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new project that I'm going to be working on. Uh, this time we are going to be looking at a different genre entirely. Uh, we're going to be looking at horror games. Uh, so we are going to turn this bog standard, fresh out of the box, third person template uh, into a horror game. Uh, we're going to be doing this series a little bit different to the last ones where I'm going to be doing this one in, a, in some more long format episodes uh, so I'm going to try and get them uh, to have more things in them rather than just one aspect at a time uh, but let, let's see how we go and obviously if need be I will change it up if I'm going too quickly uh, right so the first thing that we're going to need to do uh, to make this horror game a horror game is we're going to need to get rid of the third person this of this completely we're going to use what we what is known as true first person uh, where it's basically using the third person model if you look down you can see your feet and you can see your arms running around uh, when you do that when you move so let's open up our third person character and go to our viewport and what we need to do is we need to take our camera boom we need to parent it to the mesh so instead of it being separate to the camera uh, to the character, we're going to use it directly on the mesh, and we're going to set our target arm length to zero, and we're going to set our parent socket to the head. Reset the location so zero zero zero, compile and save. And the first thing you'd see straight away, if I bring that over, do a new tab and do it again, is you can run, you can see your hands move, you look down, and you see your body. Which in itself isn't too bad, um, but we can make things a little bit different uh, just by changing one or two little things. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take our camera boom and we're going to add a bit of camera lag and rotation lag to it. So what this does is instead of it uh, jumping uh, instantly to when you move your mouse, if I just click in here, you can see it's, if you did this in real life, you would snap your neck. Uh, so we don't want to do that. So we want to grab our camera boom and we want to enable load rotation lag and just fiddle around with the numbers. So now you can see that if I just rotate quickly, it still means you have to turn your head. Uh, so let's re lower that down to five. It's uh, quite nice to uh, to play. Maybe let's try it seven. Okay. Uh, next thing we need to do is, is a horror game after all, so we will be l slowing our character down completely. Uh, so by default it's 500, which is pretty much a sprint. Uh, we'll lower it down to 250 and you should see it's much slower. If that, if that could be too quick, you can put it up to 200. I'll put it down to 200 and it's definitely more of a, a walk. and save. Uh, next thing uh, is quite imperative that a horror game has a flashlight. Uh, so let's add one of those. It's nice and easy to do. We're going to add a spotlight. And we're going to attach it to our camera. Make sure it's quite bright, 7500. Uh, we'll lower the angle down to 25, that should be quite good, and obviously we won't be able to see anything, uh, so we'll take the directional light, and let's just make it a bit darker. So now if you look around, we have a torch. 
you may sometimes get collision on the face. So if we just move it a bit forward, and now you shouldn't get any uh, shadow of the uh, of the head because it's obviously it's linked to the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this map around very slightly. Uh, so just bear with me. I'm going to just give myself some corridors to play with and then uh, I will be back. Okay, that should do. Nice uh, claustrophobic looking map. Uh, so let's remove the uh, the light again just for now. We'll just change it to sunset. And now walking around, the torch doesn't go to the end, so we can increase the attenuation radius. Yeah, so it's it's more of a a realistic torch now. Okay, perfect. Uh, one last thing we want to double check is uh, at the moment, if we look down and rotate, we can snap our neck and look around like an owl. We don't really want to do that. Uh, so in our third person character, click on the BP third person character and under uh, pawn. So if you look up rotation, you can use controller rotation your under the pawn. So compile and save. So now when we look down, it should rotate with our camera. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one last thing uh, before we finish for the first episode, and that will be to create a sprint mechanic uh, so you can actually run away from whatever baddie we put in the game. So we're going to need to create a couple of variables. We're going to need to create a uh, is sprinting boolean. Uh, we're going to need to create a stamina float which by default we will have it set to 100 if we go into our inputs we will need to create a new action we will call this uh, so if we go to input input action IA sprint and then go back to our IMC default and we shall create IA Sprint, which will be the left shift. Uh, let me search for IA underscore Sprint Enhance Action Event to give us this. And under Triggered, we want is sprinting to be true. And on cancelled or completed, we want integration to be false. And we're going to set a new function called set movement speed or set, uh, set yeah, movement speed with an input of is sprinting. We're going to select, uh, select. Uh, if he's not sprinting, we want to make a literal float, and we're going to call this 200, which I believe is what we ended up with. Yep, 200. And we want to make literal float 500 for when he is sprinting. Grab a character movement, set max walk speed. 
and then plug that in. So now you can see it's if I bring the lights back in again. So walk in normally, hold shift, and you sprint, let go of sprint, and you start walking again. Okay, I think that will uh, do for the first episode. Uh, so I think that will do for the first episode. Uh, so just a quick recap of all the things that we've done today. We've enabled sprinting. We've created a first person, uh, a true first person out of a, uh, a third person template. And we've also uh, set up a flashlight. The next uh, episode we're going to do it will be uh, making the flashlight have its own uh, button as well as a battery. And we're going to use that same technique to sort out the sprinting as well so that we have a stamina uh, stamina bar. And if you run out of stamina completely, then you have to wait for it to fully refill. If not, then it will just refill on its own and you can carry on. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, the content I'm putting out so far. I will be doing more uh, along the lines of this stuff as well. So we're not going to be just doing... Uh, one big project at a time. Uh, I've got another couple in mind, which I'll be doing. I'll also be doing a couple of smaller videos uh, just to keep us going. So, brilliant. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you disliked it for whatever reason, that's the way it is. Hit dislike it. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, leave comments, and join my Discord. And I shall speak to you guys next time. <laughs>